apropos of nothing, I notice these things sometimes. I'm afflicted by it. Frank, I, I noticed that you guys, uh, meaning the NBA head coaches, used to suit and boot. I mean, it, it, it was like a, a fashion show uh, with you dressing up, <laughs> coat and tie. And now, now it's just like what's in the closet, you know? And uh, I'm wondering, have we seen the end of coaches dressing up in the NBA because the bubble last year you decided let's not dress up and the league has given you the opportunity to dress down? Have we ha- have the days of – NBA head coaches, suiting and booted, are they over, Frank? I, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Um, I, I think we're all happy with what our dry cleaning bill looks like. You know, this year and last year, it's, it's a lot better than it has been in the past. But um, we all had the mindset. Um, we actually had a coaches association meeting about this. Um, I bet. Where we, we really, most of us still prefer uh, to wear suits. Really? But, you know, in this, I would say about, about 60-40. But in this climate of uh, of the pandemic and the bubble, not having having dry cleaning and all that, we did it last year. And right. Because this year we're still you know, pandemic oriented and with a lot of restrictions, they just uh, we decided to go another year uh, with more of a, a relaxed uh, attire. Okay. But um, I think the expectation is to return to suits next year. Who's pounding the table for no suits? Is it Popovich? Who's the leading that charge of no suits? Which coach? You know, uh, I forget doing? where Pop was with it. Um, you know, but you know, I'm a suit guy. Okay. You know, I, I remember Taylor Jenkins spoke up about it. Carlisle was a a, a Chuck Daly guy. You know, and Chuck Daly will always talked about always um, you know how you should look. So and he's the president of the coaches coaches association. Okay. So you know, there's a lot of us that, that just see the value in that, but but there's certainly a handful, uh, you know, plenty that like the relaxed fit too. Okay, and I'm fascinated by this last one. Which coach do you think would maybe break ranks and say, "Screw it, I'm wearing a suit." And you just all show up, and you're like you're dressed in your workout clothes, and your and your your colleague who you're battling that night just shows up, literally like on a runway, like all suited and booted. Which which coach do you think would go rogue for that? <laughs> I've got my guess. Give, give me yours, Frank. Come on. If it stays casual, you're talking about? No. If you, somebody's just like wears wants to wear the suit, they're dying to wear the suit. They can't go without wearing a suit another day, and they break ranks, and you show up. You're like, what gives? I'm still dressed in my workout clothes. You're dressed in your suit. Which coach? Do you think would go rogue and do that? Which one? Man, I you know I really don't know. I, let's just go with Coach Carlisle. No, let's we think it's I really don't know. We think That's it's Quinn Snyder. We Quinn think Snyder. it's Quinn Snyder. We think Quinn yeah, Snyder's done it. Yeah, he would do something chic for sure. Because he's yeah, dressed. I mean, he he's dressed too. He's dressed. He would look better than the rest of us. Like his belt <laughs> matches his his sneakers right now, which matches the mask. <laughs> it's tucked in like you could see that, right? You know that. Yeah, that's a good answer for sure. Okay, good answer, everybody. <laughs> good, right. good answer. We start with Jeopardy, we end with Family Feud. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.